So you guys know I have no idea what I'm doing, right? You, I mean, you do know that, right? <laughs> All right, since I don't know if um, <laughs> I don't know if part two will ever see the light of day, I'm going to go ahead and start with part two and a half and uh, or two A or something like that, and we're going to just skip ahead to where I am with the the foundry build. So I started off um, as you saw in part one. I had the fire brick and I lined uh, I lined this thing. My daughter had bought me some recastable fire brick which is not really mortar and it doesn't mortar well, but I used it anyway and I mixed it with this stuff, vermiculite, this stuff, vermiculite, and um, to sort of A, lighten it up, B, to make it go further, because it was a really small tub and it was very expensive, so um, I wanted it to try to finish this thing. Well, I got, I got all the brick in and I got enough to, to sort of do this upper lip a little bit uh, with it, and then I had some left over, so I just went ahead and poured it into the where is it? There it is, into the lid. Had it just laying on the ground on a piece of, on a sheet of plastic, and it filled it pretty well. Now I can see where, and you might be able to see it here too. It's kind of shrunk away a little bit, but um, it's still in there. It hasn't come out, so good news. What I'm going to do today. And this is sort of, again, two steps, for, one step forward, two steps back kind of a thing. Um, I need to get, I didn't want to finish lining this. And I bought some, uh, I bought some of this stuff, wherever it is, which is refractory mortar, or it's mortier, whatever, or how about refractory mortar? So I'm going to use that to line this. To smooth off this top and to finish this in. But today I'm going to focus on the lid because this is really where most of the construction happens. And I don't want to, I don't want to name any names. Where is it here? Right there. Paul's garage. I don't want to be, I don't want to drop, um, I don't want to drop my lid so and crack it like some of my esteemed colleagues have. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build into this thing some plates that I can weld to. And I'm gonna have, there's a, there's a video out there from, from by a guy, I can't remember, Jay, I think is this Jay something is the name of his site. Uh, if I think about it, I'll link it down at the bottom. He's got a great looking little furnace. Anyway, he's got a uh, foot pedal that lifts a, pushes a bar up and it will actually lift his entire lid and then it can it kind of rotates out of the way this way as opposed to having to take the thing off uh, and he can take it off if he wants to but uh, there's no need to and it will stay there and it doesn't get dropped and so it won't break and i'm hoping that would be a big plus for me now so that's something i'm going to do today i'm going to try to get some things fabricated to put in here um, and then when i i'm going to pour some more cement in here and hopefully that will all hold together. The other thing I need to do is I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I need to find the center of this thing so I can cut a hole in it. I didn't, I wasn't smart enough to actually put a piece of pipe in here first so I'd have a hole to drop things through. So now I'm going to have to try to drill one through here. So I'm going to make a center, a hole center finder today. And that's kind of what we're going to do is we're going to make the center finder. And I'm probably going to try to fabricate a couple of tabs uh, that we can put in here that will hold that I can weld to and then I can lift this whole thing up and have it like I say rotate around so that'll be the goal for for today and that'll call it part 2a probably the next time you see this thing this thing will be lined uh, this will be finished and um, I might even have the hole cut through the side something else I got to do another brilliant move Perry is I didn't cut the hole in here first so I'm gonna have to try to cut a hole through all of this stuff um, I don't know if it's even going to be possible. I, I may have just totally hosed myself, but got to put the thing in for the burner. I am going to go with 
a size that will fit a flare on the end. So this is a this is a uh, one and a half inch flare, one in, one inch. Or this is three quarter, but one inch to one and a half inch flare. I'm going to drill a hole into the side so it will fit in here, like so. And uh, I'm just going to leave the flare, and then I can take the whole flare and whole nozzle out if I want to. So that's the one thing I'm going to do. That's a little bit different than what I've seen in some of the other guys, and and some of that is based on conversations I've had with the other guys. Um, about what they would do differently and they, it's one of the things that came up was I would make the hole bigger so We'll see how I go today time wise. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, What am I going to do first? Oh, yeah, I'm going to make the center finder first Oh I made this Just some angle iron I picked up at the scrapyard welded on some wheels that I found at the scrapyard because this thing is a pain in the butt to move around. And I wanted to be able to have it mounted somewhere, have it somewhere that I could move it easily. And also, um, you can't see my hand, but right down here at the base of this thing is where I'm going to mount the mechanism that will come up and lift the lid up. That'll be mounted to this, uh, this angle iron. So that's something else I have done with the, with the foundry furnace. This thing is heavy. Okay, I'll talk over the top of my welder that takes forever to cool down. So, I got this up against here. I'm just going to, I can't find my Sharpie, so we're going to open pray that that pen works. There is one mark. There's another one. Okay, here we go. I've got a piece of sacrificial wood underneath. Let's, uh... Well, the drill bit went through. <laughs> well, that wasn't a total failure. It was pretty darn close, but it wasn't total. Uh, so this is like a $19, like a $19 hole saw. This is now a $19 recycle bin. Just completely ground the teeth right off that thing. That stuff, I guess, is really hard. Which is in me really thinking I'm, I've screwed up big time and not getting my hole onto the side of the can first as well. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, anyway, I ended up having to break this out of here with my hammer. The good news is it stayed intact. It broke along the line. I scored, so that was good. Um, but it broke here, 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 all the way across. I'm going to fill this thing full of that um, stuff that I showed you at the beginning, this, the, the dry mix, the mortar. And so I'm hoping that that will be enough to hold this in place. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to line this hole with something, some cardboard or something, to form a nice cone so I don't have, a, I don't have stuff in my hole. So, All right, well, I found, a, uh, <laughs> I found a use. Reuse. Don't recycle. Reuse. Ah, I love it when I waste money. All right, there's my form. <laughs> Golly. Let me uh, go ahead and clean up this edge a little bit real quick, too, just to make sure I'm not, I don't cut my arm off when I'm doing this. So let me do that, and we'll mix some, some stuff, and we'll pour it in there. Okay, I did the, I did the same thing I did for everything else. I mixed um, basically one part vermiculite to one part... Um, refractory mortar and I'm hoping I made enough I'm sure this stuff is completely caustic and my hands will catch fire any second now but uh, we're gonna hope not yeah I don't think I made enough I use a spatula. I 
and you got a perfectly good hand. Because <laughs> I may not have a perfectly good hand when I'm done. I'm going to, uh, I got to mix up just a hair more. All right, there it is, my lid. It uh, actually doesn't look too shabby like this. Hopefully that uh, top half will stay in there. Uh, I'm not going to put any force on it, any pressure on it. When I weld to it, I'm going to weld everything. I'm pretty sure I'm going to weld everything to the side or going to try to, uh, to be able to lift this thing up. So uh, hopefully it won't be a problem. Hopefully this kind of, this thing here you can see will actually keep this, just be all it takes to keep this thing in here because the, the mortar has pushed out into it. So we'll let that dry uh, and the lid should be pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead, because I'm out here and I've got my hands already uh, catching fire, I'm gonna go ahead and line, finish lining out the rest of my bucket and I'll give you a shot of that when I'm all done. <laughs> I hate concrete work and this is just like concrete work. It always looks like it looks worse than a bag of walnuts when I do it. I should have done it like everybody else. I should have used sauna tube. I should have packed it down in there. I should have, you know, no, I had to be smarter. So I got it in there. It's a, uh, it's a round shaped object. It's not, it's not a cylinder. It's cylinder like. I hope it's going to be good. I've got enough of the mortar mix left. If I can, if I want to get in there and smooth it out a little bit more with some of the holes that fall into it. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> anyway, I guess the happy news is the top is pretty flat, good. The lid will be flat, good. That's all I really need. Insides, you know, I see guys with foundries that are falling apart, so this, should, this, can't, <laughs> this can't be any worse than that. So we're gonna call this part two, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this part two again. So what you've seen now is I've got the fire brick inside there. I've got it lined with a mortar vermiculite mix. I made my lid. Um, it's drying right now. We'll set that on there. I'll set that on the dolly. And then next time we get back, I'm going to start welding up pieces onto there to be able to lift this thing up and, and rotate it around and such so that um, I don't have to take the lid off and drop it like everybody else does. So there you go. Part two. <laughs> Hopefully I survive parts three and whatever else. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. It really does help. If you'd like to be notified when we publish new content, go ahead and click my channel icon to subscribe. And finally, while you're here, take some time to check out some of our other videos. Have a great day and get out there and do something new today.